Remember the old treasure maps when you were a kid? They were in pirate movies, they were in games we played. Well, tonight I have a treasure map for you, a map that leads to millions. This map will give you a step-by-step -step guide to building a $25 million a year company with something as simple as a dog comb. And later, make way for the Furminator. Dun, 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 dun. It's a step-by-step -step guide to making millions. How do you build a prototype? How do you patent it? Next, how does a dog brush become a $25 million a year company? We'll take you step-by-step -step so you can grow your big idea. Okay, it's time for Step by Step to Millions. This is where we do something a little different. We don't talk about necessarily how you came up with it. It's more of from product, bringing to market. How do you build a prototype? How do you patent it? What's the step to finding the right patent attorney? What's the step to finding the right manufacturers? What's the step to defining your markets? Step by Step by Step to Millions with Angie and David Porter, co-founders of Furminator. It is a new comb for pets, really digs and gets rid of the excess hair. Sounds simple enough? Well, they're making $25 million a year. So let's follow the Furminator step by step by step to millions. Welcome, guys. Okay, buddy. First step. How'd you even come up with it? Well, I was doing my lifelong dream of being a dog groomer. I own my own salon, and my customer's biggest complaint was shedding. So I thought, well, if I can do something about the shedding, I might be onto something. Okay. So we were taking this crude blade in our hands and taking it across the dog's coat. And it, it worked okay, but it was killing my hand. And I would go home at night and tell my husband, this is great, but we have to do something. So you knew, you knew there was a need there? Yes. Okay, number two, you go, I got a problem here. There's got to be a better way to kind of de-shed dogs. How did you build a prototype? Well, we knew that people hated their loved their pets but hated that shedding so what we did was we went out and we thought we were in bed one night just talking and we went out and we bought a dremel tool we bought some hairbrush handles and we really started taking them apart getting some blades and building these these prototypes i think the the real moment was when we were over at her aunt's house and she had this old beagle and we pulled out so much hair filled an entire brown paper bag and we knew we had something then what, what did you actually build the first prototype out of um it, it was a hairbrush and we had some of her old blades from her shop and screws and we just kind of just assembled a, a just piece by piece of stuff that was piece. lying around the house so you make your first prototype obviously this is a finished product now next step patent attorney you didn't know anything about patents you know anything about attorneys how'd you I find had it? no clue where to go so i was playing softball with a number of attorneys and i said hey do you know any patent attorneys got a name alan helped us out and we were on our way okay coming up with a name next step how'd you do it well we were uh brainstorming one night and we we're tossing out names and david's the creative one and i'm the dog groomer and i woke up in the middle of the night and i'm like honey furminator that's and it hit me and said <laughs> furminator and i went all right let me think about it eliminates the fur I, I didn't like it because i didn't think of it okay but good good name so sometimes it just comes to you yeah i love the name of your original dog shop grooming dales yes did you get any letters from Federated? A little copyright infringement on that one? No. All right, under the radar on that one. Okay, now you gotta define your market. You gotta find the right place to sell it to. How did you hone your market? Well, we really wanted to sell to, eventually, to everyone, but we really wanted to concentrate on the groomers. So we initially marketed this as a marketing in a box for groomers and businesses that they could go out and sell this, and somebody said, you know what, you need to sell as many as you can, as fast as you can. Great advice, we went out there, and, and after it was marketed as a, as a shedless treatment, then we started getting into the vets that would sell it, and then we got our, our break on QVC. How'd you get to QVC? Just a, a fluke, I went to a seminar, met a guy, and he was selling some stuff on QVC, and it quickly became the most, uh, the hottest selling product in the, pet product in the history of QVC. I love it. Okay, and how did you get the first deal with the big buyers? Next step. Well, we were doing a whole number of things, and we were really kind of, kind of doing this grassroots effort, and we got their attention, and actually, the big guys of uh, PetSmart and Petco actually called us on the same day. Love it. What a great story. Step by step by step by step, $25 million later. The Furminator! Dun, 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 dun. Angie and David Porter, founders of Furminator. You take it one step at a time, you get to those millions. More big ideas straight ahead.